Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. You've learned from our earlier lessons the different parts and functions of the nervous and endocrine systems. Both nervous and endocrine systems are important in enabling the body to maintain homeostasis. Let's learn more on how the nervous and endocrine systems work together to maintain homeostasis in today's lesson. Lesson 5, Nervous System Working Together with Endocrine System to Maintain Homeostasis What is homeostasis? Homeostasis is the state of steady internal, physical, and chemical conditions maintained by living organisms. Homeostasis is attained through regulation of the bodily functions of the endocrine and nervous systems. Most body systems maintain homeostasis by using feedback mechanisms. There is what we call negative feedback mechanism, which involves a response that is the reverse of the change detected. This means its function is to reduce the change. Example of negative feedback is thermal regulation. If body temperature changes, mechanisms are induced to restore normal levels. We also have the positive feedback mechanism which involves a response that reinforces the change detected. Simply, its function is to amplify the change. Example of positive feedback is during childbirth. The stretching of uterine walls cause contractions that further stretch the walls. This continues until birthing occurs. Here is an example on how nervous and endocrine systems work together to maintain homeostasis. When the brain receives messages from the body about an internal change on its system, it works to restore the system to its normal state. Here, the brain detected an increase of blood sugar in the body. The brain sends signals to the pancreas to produce insulin and release it into the blood. The hormone insulin will inform the liver to take up glucose and store it as glycogen. Body cells also take up extra glucose in the blood. From these events, the blood glucose will decrease and becomes normal. The homeostasis is achieved. Always remember, the levels of hormones in the body are controlled by feedback. It is important that the amount of hormones in our body is kept at the right level. The endocrine system plays an important part in maintaining homeostasis. To achieve homeostasis, the nervous and endocrine systems maintain a normal range of the following. Body temperature, amount of water in the body, amount of metabolic waste in the cell, blood calcium level, hormones in the blood, and more bodily functions to sustain life. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.